Well, on to stage three of the Dakar, the first loop around Neom, and described by the race director David Castera as the most beautiful stage of this edition, practically 100% sand. The elite riders recovering their bikes from the Parc Ferme for part two of the Super Marathon. Just 25 minutes to work on the road, but once again, a fast start on the menu in the first of three time sections. Well, Adrian van Beveren suffered plenty of misfortune in recent years, and Dakar disaster struck again for the Frenchman after just four kilometers. A heavy crash spelling the end of his rally. Well, poor old Van Beveren's now been forced to abandon in three consecutive editions. He already crashed out in 2018 when fighting for overall victory, but luckily his injuries appear to be less serious this time around. But he's not too bad physically speaking. They're telling us that he has a broken right shoulder and bruising on his right eye. I mean, the crash happened at high speed. He was going 120 kilometers an hour. But Adrian has always bounced back. He has an energy and a strength within him, which means that he gives his life for this race. Kevin Benavides was third on the day. A really good first part of the stage for the Argentine. He was actually leading at one point. Got a bit turned around towards the end with a mistake in the road book. But eventually the time's taken a little bit earlier before the finish line. So he was third. Just ahead of him, teammate Nacho Corneco. In his fourth Dakar, the young Chilean is looking really good. Hoping to improve on his best result today. That was eighth last year. He goes fifth overall. And the winner, Ricky Brabeck, a Honda 123. No American has ever won the Dakar, but if he keeps going like this, the former BMX star could well make history. Brabeck taking the stage and the overall lead. I, I want to push every day, but he, you got to kind of be careful because if you win one, then you're going to lose one. So uh, I just like the terrain. I'm having a lot of fun out here. You know, it's it's rough, it's rocky, sandy, fast. You know, I, I enjoy it. So. Having a lot of fun, feeling really confident, confident and comfortable, so hopefully we can keep the momentum going. Brabeck winning ahead of his teammates, Cornejo and Benavides, then with the KTM duo of Matthias Vorkner and Toby Price in fourth and fifth. Brabeck leads Benavides by just under five minutes overall, with Walkner now the leading KTM. Four Hondas in the top five, with Sean Bereda and Cornejo both moving up. A new winner in the quads today after two for Ignacio Casale, another Chilean Giovanni Enrico on top. After two abandons, he's third overall.